Carol. Do you have the feeling we've been house hunting forever? Almost. This is the fifth weekend in a row, isn't it? Or is it the sixth? I didn't think finding a place we both liked would be this tough. If at first you don't succeed. Yeah, I know. What's going on here? Looks like they're laying some kind of cable. That looks like the place there. Yes, our name is Thorne. We're looking for Mr. Hanslin, the builder. His office said we could find him here. <laughs> I'm Emil Hanslin. I'm very pleased to meet you. Did we uh, catch you at a bad time? Oh, no, no, no. Just checking the location of the underground wiring the telephone company was installed. That's quite a gadget they've got there. It certainly is. The phone people call it the Undertaker. Undertaker? It's a pretty good name. They use it to bury telephone cables. It burrows under sidewalks and driveways. Here, they're going right under the road. And when he backs it off, he'll pull the cable through from the terminal across the street. And so that's all that's left of what we used to know as a telephone pole. Quite an improvement, don't you think? I should say so. Now, well, that fellow is burying the drop line from the terminal up to the house. Is this standard practice now? Well, sometimes geography and ground conditions rule it out, but whenever possible, the phone company and we builders prefer to get all the wires underground. Just like the water and power lines, huh? That's right, everything out of sight. In a community such as this, it's not only practical, but offers some very real advantages. Now, this house is not much more than a shell, but inside, they're pre-wiring the phones already. When we build a day, we include phone needs right in the original plans. They're not afterthoughts, something you put in after everything else is finished. The lines are hidden right in the walls, where they should be. Well, now that you two have the phones all installed, Mr. Hanson, could you tell us something about the house? Glad to, but it will be hard for you at this stage to visualize what it will look like. Well, uh, how many rooms will it have? Well, rooms isn't quite the right word when you're talking about this house. The way you're thinking, this would be, say, um, a seven-room house. But the way we've designed it, the space will provide 16 or 17 living and service areas. 16 or 17? That sounds a little big for us. Not really. The rooms have so many functional spaces. For example, the master bedroom provides not just sleeping area, but a dressing room and a sitting room with a fireplace and a marvelous balcony for Sunday morning coffee. The children's rooms are likewise very flexible, but of most importance to their occupants is a secret club room with a very special exit for club members only, a fireman's brass pole. Other rooms in the house lead out onto a variety of decks and terraces, and this, in effect, doubles the overall living space. I'll tell you what. We'll drop you a card in about seven weeks. We want you to be here at the opening of what we call a model for living. They can't wait to see that fireman's pool. I'm glad they didn't spoil the setting. It's beautiful. It's nestled in like it's been here for years. After you. Thank you. I like the place up there with the fireplace. Yes, sitting there. You get where you get uh, rules like that. Mike, isn't this great? I like it already. 
Hi, folks. Glad you could make it. We looked forward to coming. I'm sure you won't be disappointed. We've put a lot of interesting ideas to work here and have come up with a highly functional yet very warm home. We saw that the minute we came through the door. Well, that's the idea. We stayed with natural wood finishes to provide a feeling of warmth. We used a lot of glass to bring the outdoors in and to extend the indoors out. And, well, there's a solid feeling to the brick and stone. I see you got the phone in all right. You bet. This one's the trim line. I like it because everything you use is right here in your hand. But back to what you came to see, our model for living. Take a good look around and see what you think of it. I'll catch up with you later. How are you? This is nice, so bright and cheerful. It isn't particularly big, but the high ceiling and that outside view give you that impression. <laughs> A lot of imagination here. Carol. Hmm? How about that? Remind you of anyone we know? It's interesting. I like it. If you say so. And you like that? Yes, I do. It's just what's needed there. There's a man's kind of fireplace. It gives the room character. What it really needs is a white bearskin rug in front of it. I'll remember to put that on my shopping list. There's a good idea. A wet bar. Handy to the living room and the deck. There's a lot of good ideas here. For instance, that picture. It's just a piece of frame wallpaper. I bet those are movable units that can be rearranged. And how about this convenient desk for writing out checks? You know what I'd do? Use it as a buffet when entertaining in here. Then more checks. Mom, Dad, come to the fireman school. Here we go. Gee, I forgot about them. You better go see they aren't making pets out of themselves. I'll be out on the deck. Bucky, up. I know it's the uh, storage space. The kids are okay. They're having a ball on that pole. I was tempted to try it myself. Isn't this great out here? I like the idea of separate decks for the different rooms. That's what we could use. Outside storage cabinets. This house was built for real living. Maybe we could just buy the outside. Be serious. They've made the outside just as interesting as the inside. Even a deck upstairs. Great. Bucky, that's up. You want to go down below and see what that's like? You go ahead. I'm going in. I'd like to see the kitchen. Okay. I'll catch up with you. Oh, hello. I'm Geraldine Rhodes of Woman's Day. Are you liking what you're seeing here today? I really like it. It's attractive and different. Well, you know, I think you'll like the kitchen, too. Um, I particularly love it because of the sense of space that you get in it, like the uh, living room and the dining room. It has a two-story ceiling, so that even though it's fairly compact, you feel a, a great sense of freedom in it. Uh, I also think that one of the things that has made it uh, very workable for a small kitchen is the fact that we have that auxiliary bar out there between the uh, living room and dining room. I, I suppose you've seen that, too. It keeps a good deal of traffic out of this small area. Um, we also, you know, in our kitchen planning department, went to considerable uh, trouble to develop some small touches here. We uh, wanted to store some of the kinds of things that every good cook wants to have in her kitchen. Uh, we have a special storage for cookbooks, and we have a phone, of course, very convenient near one of the main working areas. 
and then I expect you're looking at some of the uh, small units here for stables and small housewares that we think make the kitchen practical. Everything is so handy. Well, that's what we had in mind. Uh, have you had a chance to see the uh, master bedroom and sitting room yet? No, but I'm going up there now. Thank you very much. How did you like the kitchen? It's got everything, even carpeting on the floor. Decorators are clever. Look at those colors. Isn't this cozy? It's like having a private apartment in your own house. I like the princess. A hidden door. That must be the kid's secret clubhouse. My gracious. With all these mirrors, you can't tell whether you're coming or going. He's down. He's down. You can. Watch him I wish they'd move that fast when you asked them to do something. Not a chance. That looks like fun. Come on, Jack. That's a great idea. Hey, Mom, what's that going on a pole? Here I go. He came right down the pole. Hey, hey, hey. Now watch Tim. Come on, Tim. Now look in here. Man, do they love that pole. Hey, Mom, what's that? Isn't this a neat one? Mike, you're a nut. You should try it. Let's go up again. Okay. It's a good idea. Oh, here you are. Well, how do you like it? Did you really see it as your new home? Oh, yes, I did. It was our living room. The children's playroom. Our sitting room. And my kitchen. And my hammock. Okay, fellas. 